So something I have been asked and frankly give a lot of thought to is the idea of should I, will I, how much will Olivia and I give to our daughter uh, when we move on, right? When we pass on, because it comes for all of us. And Dion from Dion Talk uh, has earned financial freedom. He has uh, three lovely children doing great. So I just wanted to ask him, Dion, have you thought about how you're going to divide up your empire, uh, how much money you want to leave to your kids uh, at your eventual passing? Or are you uh, just not thinking about that? You just want to, you're going to blow it all and say, good luck. What, what's going on? I was, it's a great question. I like it when it comes up. I, I have two sarcastic answers that my kids are aware of. And then <laughs> kind of kind of a real way of looking at it. So so the the real answer first, so that I don't delay it with sarcasm, but the real answer is, I don't want my kids thinking their retirement depends on me passing away. Right. Oh, so, yes. So I, I always forget which one it is, but it's a sports ball player. Um, one of the really tall ones that <laughs> said, um, my kids aren't rich. I'm rich. Yeah. Shaquille O'Neal is famous for go. saying okay. that quote. So thank you for that. I should write that down because I always yeah. Shaq told his son, you're not rich. I'm rich. Yes. <laughs> right. Exactly. So that's kind of the reality of it. Yes, at some point when I when I'm not here, this is generational wealth. It will go to my family for them to probably sell and blow because we're you know most most wealthy families are broke within three generations, right? So that's probably going to be the trajectory there. I don't think I have the capacity to teach great grandkids, right, to, to do that. So, but here's the two kind of sarcastic but real things. The first is. It's one of the reasons why I don't have life insurance. I never want to be worth more dead than I am alive because my kids would kill me for a slice of pizza. So, again, goes back to not wanting them to think that me passing away. My my brother retired with 10 paid off rentals and his his kids, my my niece and my nephew, love them both. Great. Really delayed doing anything with life because in their later teenage years, I actually remember having conversations with them where they were like, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to get all my dad's rentals. Well, I'm like. So here's the first part I want you to think about that if that's something that's gone through your head, if your parents own rentals, or if you have kids. At what age did you invest? Mm -hmm. So I was uh, in my 40s, and my, and my kids are in their 30s. So if I make it to 80, they're going to be 60. Right. Right. Yeah. That means they would have to retire at regular age if they're going to rely on me passing away in my 80s or 90s. So that doesn't help them retire early. If you're Matt, the lumberjack landlord, now he's in his forties and his kids are in you know, under five, yeah. right? So yeah. when he's eighty, they'll be forty, not thirty or forty, right? Whatever, whatever it is, they're forty-five. So it might be kind of an earlier retirement for them. So that's kind of an estimate of how old are you compared to your kids. So some people might be leaving their properties to their grandkids. Mm. Uh, that's the first thing. Um, the the second thing is, and this is a bit sarcastic, is I tell my kids that when I when I pass away. My portfolio will be divided equally into thirds. They each get a third or it'll be all sold off. They get a third Un unless any one of them spends a penny on their mothers. Then the other two get everything. So yeah. that, that's kind of a sarcastic <laughs> answer. Um, but I, I make sure that I have sarcasm to bring up the topic so that we can talk about it so that my kids right. are aware. Uh, th I'm not their retirement. Their their retirement needs to happen decades before I would pass away. If, if I make it that far, if I, if I die sooner, um, I, I don't know that any of them are ready yeah. to just all of a sudden have a portfolio, right? Yeah. And like the people right now who are investing, if if you're like Matt and you're taking your kid to the job sites and everything, it could work out. They can totally yeah. get into it. But everybody think about what their father did yeah. and how much you hate it, yeah. whatever it is. So that might even backfire. 